I'm really want a fine game to play with graphics. I need new graphics game. Graphics games? These aren't. These games don't have graphics. I don't. I don't want the graphics game. Oh my god, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Nick has graphics, but he's not a game. These are games. These graphics. Graphics? Do you have graphics? Do you? Do you? Here's graphics game. This is. This is graphics. These. These are graphics. It's a game. Do you remember when you were just a stupid kid? Instead of questioning your existence, you did what your parents said. You subscribed to God. Remember that Christmas where you wanted Sega games? You wanted Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Do you remember that? Well, instead of getting Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you got God. Not actually God, but a video game designed to get you even closer to God. That's right, none of that blue devil hedge pig shit around here, son. You get God. Want comics? Fuck that. God. Want action figures? Hell no. God. Thinking about maybe some Harry Potter? God. Hungry? God. Video games? God. Video games? How about God games? With God graphics, God sound, God story, and God controls. Ultra God. Bible Adventures for the Sega Genesis. So one of the absolute funniest things about this game is it says this cartridge is not manufactured, licensed, sponsored, endorsed by Sega Enterprises. So right away, this is a game it's supposed to be a Christian game, but it's already not authorized by Sega. Does that mean it's a bootleg? No, that means they actually made this game and then distributed it themselves. What a move. So here it is, the Bible Adventures. And there are three different games that you can play within Bible Adventures. So we're going to start out with Noah's Ark, but that's followed by baby Moses and David and Goliath. So Noah's Ark, as you guys know, is all about getting them animals, put them in the ark, which is not a boat. People think it's a boat. It's not a boat. It's a stationary thing designed to keep you safe from a torrential downpour and a potential flood. There's a story there from Genesis 12, 14, 17, 19. So this is what the actual game looks like. And uh, as you can tell, it is a highly detailed game. This could never have been pulled off in the regular Nintendo. And there's some weird mooing bass, bass moo sound coming out of this cow. Either Moses is really big or that cow is really small. He picks it up over his head and he, he throws it. That is potentially the entire mechanic in this game. I think they kind of ripped it off of Super Mario Brothers 2 by allowing you to pick stuff up and put it over your head. Oh, there's some instructions for you just in case you were unable to know you were picking things up. So, assuming that you're going to climb trees while carrying that, I mean, got to give it to Moses. This guy obviously has got some skills. He's able to not only pick up two cows and stack them, but also balance them on his head while he climbs trees. And yeah, despite the uh, dubstep cows we've got going on here, this is basically what the entire first level of the game is. It's you trying to collect all the animals and put them in the ark. Now, I don't know about you, but when I play a video game, I really don't want it to be work. And that's pretty much all this game is, is work. So I guess that's the first lesson here, kids. If you want to play a Christian game instead of going outside to do chores or play or whatever like that, no, this game itself is going to be work. So right there, right away, you're going to put this game down and probably never, ever play it. Do I really even want to play this anymore? No. No, I really don't. I, I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> but I'm gonna. Baby freaking Moses. Oh my Moses. So this is the second game in the trilogy on Bible Adventures. And in this game, you pick up your baby over your head, and for some reason, there's these little bouncy panels on the ground. Basically, I think what you're trying to do here, even though I don't really care to complete this level, is you're trying to get from the left to the right side of the screen while carrying your baby with these freaking little spiders coming at you with their eyeballs, and I don't really know what their deal is and why they're there. And look, there's a dog. Thank God there's Doggo, and he's just chilling. He's not, like, you know, worried about the baby or even worried about the spiders trying to kill the baby. So here I am, you know, just trying to avoid these guards and you know just trying to get my baby across here press down and a to jump down yeah okay I don't even really want to okay you can pick up the guards so I'm stacking guards on babies I'm not really sure how you can pick what you use to oh god to even like launch these things in the air and they just took the same game mechanics and physics from every game and just kind of mash it into one this is in no way better than the previous game this is baby Moses 
I'm carrying him on my head, and great work! On to the next level! Oh, yippee for me! Oh my god, is this gonna get harder? Oh, but it's never fun! It's just, I don't even want to do this! No! No. No more of this level. No. I'm, I'm done here. Yeah. You know what? I gave this game a fair chance. This is the third game here. And it's the same. It's the same game with the same mechanics, the same graphics, and the same freaking terribly annoying music just looping over and over again. You pick up objects, you stack them on their head. It's like somebody was playing Super Mario World 2 and they were like, oh, let's just take that one part of the game and make that the whole game. That's the whole game here, except for there's nothing cool to look at, there's no good music, and the graphics are actually somehow, even though this is on Sega Genesis in a 16-bit game, the graphics are worse than Super Mario Bros. 2 on the regular Nintendo. I'm not gonna play anymore. This is it. There's nothing more to see here. It's just level after level the same crap over and over again. Oh my god, this game is sacrilege. Well, we've seen it. We've seen the game prescribed by God himself. Which is, in fact, somewhat of a bootleg. So would I recommend this game to anybody in the world? No, not unless you like a game that is 100% a chore to play, has really annoying music, terrible graphics, and, I mean, absolutely no gameplay that's any fun at all. Bible Adventures is really not much of an adventure. Now, is there anything good about this game? No, but until next time.